the Joe Rogan experience. I, I got sued. I mean, it's it's like it's why I have E and O insurance because I got mm-hmm. fucking sued for half a million dollars. Uh, it was that it was that fucking uh, for defamation because I shit on that lawyer on the air when he called in. He was like the guy's right activist, mm-hmm. and he called up and uh, I insulted him for an hour and I implied that he fucked chickens. Like it was funny. <laughs> um, and he, I, I remember saying like he he sued me for defamation, and I remember saying this guy wants to kill me. But he can't, so he's getting me legally. Because we met once. I, he thought I wanted to settle with him. Because he amended his complaint. He said that I was having people send him anthrax or, or white powder, implying it was anthrax. It was fucking crazy. So I had him meet in my lawyer's office just to tell him, like, dude, I, like, that's insane. I thought, like, as two people. Right. But he thought I was going to settle. So we shook hands and met, and he was just, like, a little fishy, weird guy. Um, and then he just continued to sue me. And it finally went away. I had a great lawyer. And in court, eight months later, or nine months later, um, the judge didn't like him. And my attorney started reading things I said to him on the air. And all the other lawyers in the court started laughing. And all those people (laughs) laughing at him um, got him to go, oh, Your Honor, we can settle this. So they went in the back, and that was it. No money was paid. It was just dropped. Oh, he just didn't want to be mocked. And that he didn't want to be mocked. And he wrote, like, this manifesto, and he mentioned me in it. Oh, um, and that guy, over the fucking pandemic, uh, dressed up like a FedEx worker and went to a judge's house and shot her son <gasps> and killed him. That was the guy? That's the same guy, Roy, Roy Den Hollander. And he... That was the guy that sued me? That's you? the guy that sued me. Holy shit. And he went to, uh, he was going to, I think, murder Sonia Sotomayor, I think her name is, the Supreme Court Justice, and they said he might have killed somebody else in L.A., they don't know. But yeah, he was going to uh, shoot her, and her son answered the door. Holy shit, Yeah, dude. but I knew that guy, it was more than a lawsuit, because he had challenged me to a duel. I didn't tell you, he chal- on the air, he goes, do you want to go to South America and have a duel? Like it was really bizarre that uh, he chose like one of those to, ten paces things. Yes, the, like it was so nuts. Whoa! Um, and then he started wanting to come back in studio and fight us. He's like, it'll just be me against the three hosts fighting. All these crazy messages. Oh my god! Um, but I knew I he can't was, believe that was the guy. I never knew that. That's the guy. Yeah. So that like when that type of shit happens, it it's like it does change you a little bit. You're like, wow, that guy was right. That guy literally wanted to murder me. It wasn't me being crazy or paranoid. Um, and most people, from what I heard, he had cancer. Like they said, he had like uh, incurable stage four cancer, and wow. then he wound up doing that, and then he just blew his brains out, shot himself. Oh wow. Yeah. So they never got him. He he did it to himself. He killed himself. Yeah, I think the cops were coming to get him, oh, and he and he uh, he killed himself. So, yeah, that could have been a lot worse. Oh, um, boy. And I, I and I, I look back on that, and I also feel good about myself. Like, hey, you read this guy right. Like, I read what type of person he was. Like, you know, is this, you get pretty good instincts uh, like if somebody's heckling yeah. you you understand is this guy having fun or is this right. guy trying to be a piece of shit because he resents me you you learn mm-hmm. pretty quickly to read motives yeah um and i just it was just maybe it's just an animal gut instinct but i'm like this guy's a fucking problem um mm. so yeah i got very lucky with that that we, <sighs> we never uh it never got to that i wonder how much you having him humiliated ramped up all of his anger it led to him murdering people. You know, I, I don't know because it was years later and it was also, he had this thing with women. Like, well, I originally, were gonna, we were going to interview him because he was suing Columbia because of their guys' studies or, or women's studies, sorry. And so I was like, look, I don't like anything that's progressive and exclusive by nature. Like, you know what I mean? Like, hey, how come they're not doing guys? So, so I'm like, let's see what, but then it became apparent he just sues women. So then we started to make fun of him um, because it's like I, it wasn't the principle of Columbia doing this. It was like you just have a fucking hard on and want to sue women. So then we kind of made fun of him um, and it got ugly and I was just being a dick like I was on the air. Yeah. Um, and that's what really But I don't think that I think he had so many of these problems. and It was much more about women than anything I said to him. Like my humiliation of him was years earlier. But I do think I humiliated him and he really wanted to because my attorney at the time. Uh, his name was Tom Ferber. He was a great lawyer, and he, they, th- my law firm hated him so much. They retroactively knocked down the, what they were charging me. They go, "This guy's such a bad guy that we're going to charge you less, and we're going to make it retroactive." Like they were so offended by what he was doing as an attorney. Wow. So I, I, I got lucky with really good people, and, and they really took good care of me. You also got lucky that you caught him before the cancer. Yes, a hundred percent, hundred percent, because. 
again, do I think he would have hunted me down and killed? No, I, I, I think the judge for him was a bigger one. But, I mean, I'm sure it would have felt good for him if he could have. Um, Especially he was on a run. So let me stop by the yeah. radio station. Yeah. And oddly enough, it happened in the town I grew up in, which was, again, a pure coincidence. But it wow. uh, happened in North Brunswick. Wow. Um, he went to kill her, and just, unfortunately, her son answered the door. Ooh, boy. Yeah, you get, like, I've gotten so many threats um, over the years. like And, like, legit, you know, radio, podcasting, you don't see who, it's not like live stand-up. Like, there's a lot of people that you don't see. Um, and I used to answer them. I have I have hundreds of fucking hate mail messages. And I used to go back and forth with people. Um, and I eventually stopped because then people, like I had a couple people talking about you better watch your back or talk about getting shot. And they were using their real names. And I'm like, all right, if this guy's using his real name, he's a fucking, there's something wrong with him. Right. right? And I don't know what he looks like and he knows what I look like.